In this module, students explore plant and animal life cycles. Plants and animals are living things as evidenced by the growth and change they undergo. A non-living thing is defined as either something that was never alive, such as a mineral, or something that was once part of a living thing but was altered through chemical or physical change into a non-living thing. A pencil, for example, is made from the wood of a tree, yet it is non-living. Dead things, by contrast, are simply organisms or parts of organisms that were once alive but are no longer, such as a dead leaf or a bone. In this module, students learn that plants make their own food, grow, develop, reproduce, and eventually die. Plants need light to survive, and they take in air through their leaves and water and nutrients in the soil through their roots. Animals breathe, move, grow, develop, and reproduce, and they also need food, light, air, and moisture to survive. Both plants and animals eventually die. Despite the similar characteristics of all living things, the life cycle and maturation process of different organisms can vary greatly. When plants and animals die, bacteria and fungi in the air and soil cause them to decompose. Decomposers break down organic matter in dead plants and animals. Decomposition is important because it returns in organic minerals such as carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, calcium, iron, and zinc to the soil and these nutrients enrich the soil. When these nutrients are taken up by a new organism, usually a plant, they begin their journey through yet another life cycle. In this module, students explore plant and animal life cycles with 12 hands-on activities and the Delta Science Reader. In this research-based unit, students are fully responsible for the maintenance of two populations, pea plants and fruit flies, through their life cycles. Parallel activities with the plants and animals introduce students to the concept of progression through developmental stages. They trace the growth of peas from germination to flowering plants that produce new seeds. Simultaneously, they observe fruit fly larvae become pupae and see emerging adults lay the eggs of a new generation. Students then use their own charted data to compare the life cycles of plants and animals and analyze one plant's germination success rate. In the Delta Science Reader Plant and Animal Life Cycles, students read about the life cycles of a variety of plants, animals, and fungi. They learn how some living things grow, change, and reproduce. They also read about a famous wildlife biologist, Jane Goodall, and her unique long-term study of chimpanzees in Africa. Finally, students learn about emperor penguins and compare the sizes and weights of some newborn animals. <music>